Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are down here in Pool Harbour with Origin Yachts to have a look at this Bayline Sierra 285. Very popular boat in the US, and you'll see why when we start to have a look around though. Let's just start on the outside. It's obviously fuel filler down there. No idea what that is. Oh, lube pump out, holding tank pump out. Now, like a lot of these American boats, they've maximized the inside space. So whilst there is, if you like, a little tow rail running down the outside of the boat, predominantly you gain access to the foredeck through the, through the folding windscreen. So this owner quite cleverly stored their outboard motor on the pulpit. Decent size anchor, electric anchor winch, and you can see over there, there's the two switches that turn it on and off. Fair leads for your lines. Four hatch, which we'll see when we go into the fore cabin. And again, you'll see down below how light and airy it is because there's two sort of uh, deck hatches as well. And there you can see is the folding section of the windscreen that enables you to gain access forwards. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. It's chilly, but it is lovely. So let us go and have a look on board. Again, you can see full, full, oh, my cleat, <laughs> full, um, full camper canvas, right the way around and full height because of the radar arch. So that gives you lots and lots of space on board. Little mini bathing platform, but nevertheless, it's good enough for what you need. There's a fresh water filler down there. And in, in here, I suspect is deck shower. There you go. Ooh. It's one of those clever Chinese puzzles. I'll sort that out later. <laughs> also down here, we have a decent size deck locker. Look at that, pretty decent. So you can get all your storage bits and pieces and there's your battery isolator switch over there. Like a lot of these boats today, they have a little door so you can stop the sea coming in, stop people falling out when you're going along. Really decent use of space here. So you can see there is a slight step up. Current owner's got this really nice looking teak, sort of teak effect deck carpet, which just takes away some of the whiteness, but also it's a lot cheaper and you can get it cleaned once a year if you want to. So if I walk up one step, turn around, and then you can see the dinette in here. So obviously table, you can take in or out, depending on what you want to do. This seat pitches both ways. So you can fold it that way. And then you've got a full array of seating, including the chaise lounge facing forward. Window to the aft cabin, which we'll see later. Cup holders, which is always very useful. And underneath here is the engine bay. So that seat you can fold down, take the table out, just have this seat and have this all open for when you're doing water sports or alike. So there you go. All cleared away, table up, seat folded back, engine access. Really nice because it's a very, very wide engine access. And being a single Mercruiser Mag 350, good old American V8. These are brilliant engines. They are so simple to work on, so straightforward. All the parts are readily accessible. You can't go wrong with one of these engines in all fairness. So while we're in the engine bay, the battery is over there. There's two, so I'm gonna guess that one is for the engine starting and one is for the domestic nice uh, straightforward battery isolator switch over there a white box that's the heat exchanger so that takes hot water from the engine and creates hot water for the domestic side and there's probably also an immersion heater built in there over the back just down there is a hydraulic pump for the trim tabs extractor fan down there fire extinguisher system which is always good and that gray tank back there with a little pump on top of it that's the waste tank for the Blue. So there you go. I will drop in the performance figures in here. Give you an idea what she does. I'm just gonna fold it all back down and we'll uh, we'll do the magic again in reverse. So there you go. Now over to, or oh, actually there is, before I forget it, there was another cupboard down there. Helm seat's really neat because you can slide it back and forwards, get it right for your own position. As with a lot of these boats, there's a lift up bolster. Throttle controller. VHS radio down there, selection of switches, 
bow thruster, which is quite nice, I'll be honest with you, on a single engine boat. Navman GPS navigator, electric anchor winch, and then selection of engine gauges, and looks like this particular owner's got another navigator that pops in up there. Good old conventional compass. And here you can see that windscreen. I don't know how well it works with the sun where it is, but that window will fold out over the side. This panel here will zip all the way out, so you can climb up the steps. One, two, three, forward and onto the foredeck. And the whole foredeck, and even this section here, is covered in this grippy surface. So really neat. So let's go and have a look on board. So here you go, pretty straightforward. Lift the cover up, fold this rather clever cantilever door back out of the way, and that gains you access to this very, very spacious, very cleverly designed cabin. Now you can see why they have sold hundreds of thousands, if not millions of these, because it does represent a very clever layout that gives you lots of space. For starters, it's a deep cabin, so if you climb back inside, as we're going to do now, it does give you pretty good headroom. So here you go. Not bad at all. So first thing you notice when you come in is there's a dinette on the uh, starboard side. And then right the way forward is the, I don't know, is it master? But anyway, there's a double berth. There is, as you would expect, loads of storage underneath here window that side and is there one this side i think there probably is yeah there you go another window for matched ventilation so you can get a cross breeze across full hatch as you would expect for ventilation and to escape little seat down here occasional seat and that has got storage underneath it as has both of these seats here except for obviously this one which has got the fridge underneath it neat little storage box under here for odds and sods and a very clever folding mechanism. So to make this into a, this section here into a bed, really simple, fold that leg down and the table naturally just cantilevers down to sit on these rests. And then you drop the infill cushions in and you have yourself a decent size double bed. A lovely molded hull windows down both sides, plus deck hatches on both sides as well. As you can see, so that with a four hatch as well gives you really light and bright space. There's a curtain, as you can see here, that slides across, so you can get visual privacy into the forward berth. Hold those guys back. And then over on the port side, we have the galley. Lots and lots of storage. So, big locker in here for toasters and lovely espresso coffee machines if you're into your thing. Power up here, big storage shelf across the top, little locker in there, microwave oven, and then a double electric cooker here. Oh, hold that back down. Obviously being an American boat, it is very much all electric. Sink down here, flat screen TV over there, radio drop in conventional radio in there and then lots and lots of pretty decent size storage under the sink oh look at that with drawers how neat have a move forward and then again even here even where i'm standing right at the forepeak the berth there's still headroom so two doors both sides as you can see this side takes you into the aft cabin which again has standing headroom in the entrance hallway. Hallway, you know what I mean. <laughs> Distribution panel there for mains and two forward, uh, and the 240 volt. Decent size, actually surprisingly decent size hanging locker in there. This current owner's put little storage baskets all the way across the back there, but also for the sake of it, pop this down behind the bed and there's a pretty decent storage cupboard all the way along there. What's also nice is there's ventilation in here as well, so you can open that up and get a fresh breeze in. And then down here, I don't know how well you can see because it's quite dark, there is a large, full-sized double berth that goes right the way under the console. And right in the back there, I don't know how well you can see that, they're the cushions in there that make up the bed over there. So we back out of the aft cabin, 
So effectively, it's a six berth cruiser, which is pretty impressive for a 28 foot boat. Now under here, or under, under here, in here is the heads. Very, very conventional. Jabs go, pump action loo, opening port light, sink with mixer tap that logically doubles as a shower. Little mirror over there, nice shower curtain, and then more storage behind the little screen. So there you go. Pretty neat. All in all, a very spacious, well, I bet there's a bin under this step, look. There you go. So all in all, a pretty spacious, pretty fabulous Bayline Sierra 285. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you've enjoyed the tour. Do please like and subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you next time around. Thanks for watching.